project that's been housed at Amazon is being repackaged with a new filmmaker and participation of Jamie Foxx. So I'm talking about The Burial. Uh, there's, I think there's a lot to discuss about this project, not namely uh, the filmmaker, but also the attraction to a project like this. So Maggie Betts has been attached to, to direct and it'll probably be in her wheelhouse fairly soon. And it was a project that actually had uh, Alexander Payne interested. So I think there, there's like, it's a weird sort of like shift. Now let's talk about the funeral home legal drama that Amazon is really big on and the involvement of Jamie Foxx as a producer and uh, Maggie Betts as the filmmaker. Well, it's Jamie Foxx as producer and star. Yes. Um, so yeah, Maggie Betts is coming off um, her sort of Sundance breakout with Novitiate uh, for this film, The Burial, and it brings her into the big leagues with Amazon, with Jamie Foxx. And it's based on a New Yorker article about um, a funeral homeowner uh, who hires um, an attorney for, for a, color, a colorful attorney for, um, for a big lawsuit. Mm -hmm. uh, so something quite different. Um, and yeah, even that premise alone screams Alexander Payne, who was once detached, but uh, a very nice move for, for Maggie Betts to, to sort of pick it up. And um, it'll be something, I think, a little bit different than we've seen from her. Yeah, for sure. Um, uh, Nova uh I believe that's how you pronounce it, uh, was essentially a relationship drama where a, where a nun falls for God in a way. And so this is like, this is a completely different subject area. I mean, it's going, we're, we're going more to greed and I, I quite like the title because the burial could represent a lot of things, not only the, the funeral home, but also uh, sinking a person and their fortune or their, their business. So there, there's a couple of uh, different uh, uh, entendres with, with the title I quite like. Um, I think it is interesting that Amazon is still uh, fiercely promoting it. And it's worth noting that Maggie Betts is also attached to a dramatic thriller about a pro-choice pioneer named uh, activist, and, sorry, pro-choice pioneer and activist named Rebecca uh, Gompart. So that's a project that's across the pond. So she's got a couple of things in the wheelhouse right now. I don't know what else we can mention about this project but just that it's nice to see Amazon still in the production, uh, producing game and, and getting to a lot of different IPs and, and essentially giving us a 2021 and 22 that, that feels familiar to sort of like the work that they did with Lynn Ramsey and a lot of the projects that were in-house and in the pre-Ted Hope days, I guess. And yeah. Yeah, I mean, I think the only other thing we can mention about this project is that the script is by um, Doug Wright, mm -hmm. who is a Pulitzer Prize winning uh, writer, but whose only other produced screenplay credit is from 20 years ago <laughs> with, um, with Quills, um, which was based that's on his own that. play. Yeah. Uh, so that's kind of interesting, too, that we have sort of a screenwriter involved who well, frankly, we don't. We only have one film bearing his name, and he will be involved putting the script together. So that's a pretty interesting fact as well um, for this one. Yeah, we'll still find out just how long the Pulitzer Prize scribe was working on the project. Because if it's twenty years between projects, maybe maybe it's been something that uh, he's been writing on or for several years now. So there, there's there's a definite. Uh, ammo for this project, if you want to call it that. Yeah, well, I mean, it's been bouncing around a while before it was at Amazon, it was at Sony as well. So, I mean, it's been kicking around. So maybe he wrote the script years ago and it's just finally, finally, hopefully getting made. Yeah, something we could see potentially in 2022 if things go well in next year. 
I'm Eric Lavallee, I'm Editor-in-Chief and Site Owner for IonCinema.com, and this is... Kevin Jaggernaut, Contributing Writer for The Playlist. And together we are... Indie Sponge.